Hi there everybody, it is Tuesday and welcome to my kitchen. You may notice that I am back in my digs in the Chicagoland area. So happy to be here and today we're going to be making a wonderful salad that is made with mixed greens but adding a wonderful addition of antioxidant rich ingredients including pears, roasted beets, and I even adding a little bit of pecans and some uh, goat cheese. Yum. So truth be told, I already did this program once before and uh, the video feed didn't work. In the two years that I've been doing this, it's the first time that that's ever happened. I've had glitches before that I've gotten through, but this is the first time that it never recorded. So unfortunately, I used up some of my ingredients the first time around, but we did make a wonderful salad, which as you can tell, Look delicious. I actually ate the plate of salad that was finished while I was resetting this up. So that gives me the opportunity to do it all over again for you. So as I said, we're going to make this delicious salad that has some wonderful antioxidant and uh, you know healthful ingredients that will help us stay young and strong and age better. Starting off with the vinaigrette. I added a, the juice of half an orange. I don't have another orange to show you, uh, but I did have about, probably about a quarter to a half cup of orange juice that uh, I put into a mason jar. This is the finished dressing, by the way. Um, so I added in the orange juice, and to that I added in about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Give it a little bit of zing and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then to add as an emulsifier and to give it a little bit of flavor, I added in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Yum. A little bit of fresh ground pepper and some a couple of pinches of sea salt. I have some pink Himalayan sea salt here that I use. Close that up. And give it a nice good shake. This is so great because when you're trying to mix up a salad dressing, this helps mix it so much easier than whisking. What's also nice too is when you add the Dijon mustard, that serves as an emulsifier that keeps things mixed up for longer. So whenever you're making a, a vinaigrette, whatever kind it is, add a little bit of flavor and um, have it mix better by adding that little bit of Dijon mustard. So we now have our vinaigrette. What are we going to add it to, you might be asking. Good question. So I have here a mix of greens. You can use any mix, really, of, of whatever, you, whatever you like. This one happens to be some power greens that has some kale and some Swiss chard baby spinach in it as well, all nice and tender. I added in about two handfuls of that into my salad bowl. You could use a spring mix if you wish. Uh, any kind of uh, lettuce that you really like, put that in. That'll be the base for our salad. And then I'm going to add in those antioxidant rich ingredients, right? So I, I added in some roasted beets. Now you can roast these beets yourself if you'd like to get the recipe. You can find it on my website, evschwag.com, and you can look for roasted beets there. But today, I didn't have time for making roasted beets, so I actually bought a can of sliced beets. And you could use the sliced beets just as they are, but I wanted to add a little bit more flavor to them. So what I did was, I drained the liquid from the beets, let them dry a little bit, get all the liquid off of them, and then I added them to a saute pan. I didn't even add oil. You can add oil. I've done it both ways before, but this time I didn't add oil, and I just put it in the pan, uh, the, it heated it up first, then added it into the pan, and cooked them for about three minutes on each side until they got nice and, um, a little bit golden and the, those sugars start to caramelize a little bit. It enhances the flavor of the beets when you do this. I took them out, let them sit on a plate to cool a little bit. 
So while that was happening, I then took out my, and I used the whole can for that. Then when uh, that was going on, I prepared the pears. And I wanted to show you how I like to slice up a pear. Now I used originally a whole pear for this dressing. I have a half a pear left over from uh, yesterday. So I'm going to slice that one up just to show you how I did. And as you can see, I just cut it in half. And I used a little scoop. Where did I put my scoop? Did it disappear? Here it is. I used a little scoop just to scoop out that area that normally has the seeds in it. Makes it very easy to cut then. Then I place it down on my cutting board and using a knife, I'll just slice through and do very thin slices vertically through that pear. When I get about halfway through that, I like to turn it sideways because it's more stable and I'll just slice up the last section of it that way. And then this last section has a little bit of that end on it. I don't know if you can see the brown end there. I'm just going to cut that off of the last two pieces. So now I have nice, long, delicate pieces of pear. I like to do it this way rather than making wedges because it's a lot easier to eat when it's in a final salad. Now, you could leave these wedges as they, or slices, I should say, as they are, and plate your salad, and then put these on top, along with your pears and your cheese and your pecans, like so. But what I like to do is take my slices now, make them a little bit smaller. I'm going to cut them, sometimes I cut them into halves. I'm gonna cut these into thirds. So I have nice bite-sized pieces of pear. It's always nice in a salad to have things bite-sized so you don't need to use a knife. All right, so I now have my pear done. My beets that have been cooling are come in little circles. I will also slice them down and make them into little bite-sized slivers. So I have those. I have my, my greens in my bowl. I'm going to add my dressing to the greens. And what I like to do is I like to toss the greens with the dressing first. Then I would add in my pears. I'll add in a few pears, because it's always so good. Add in a few pears and toss that together. And then finally, in the end, I add in the beets. And this way, the colors stay nice and bright, rather than the beets kind of bleeding out into all of the other ingredients. So at this point, I now have my salad, the base for my salad. I have my greens, right, about two handfuls of greens. I have that can of beets, or I would say like, you could do like two or three small roasted beets. Maybe even just one big one would be fine for this dish. And then the pears, all tossed in with that vinaigrette. Let me grab a plate. All right. And this is how I like to plate this. Let me just close this cabinet. All right, so what I wanna do is just arrange. And what I did uh, earlier too was I kind of broke the stems if I saw that they were in there just so that it's easier to eat. I just saw one that escaped that and it reminded me. So now I have my greens and my vegetables and fruits arranged on the plate and I wanna finish it off. I have some goat cheese here. You probably need about one package. It was about four ounces of goat cheese. And I'm just gonna add a little dollop 
to the salad that I already made, right like that. Now, you can, if you prefer, add the cheese directly into your salad when you're tossing it. It makes for a creamier dressing because that cheese then is going to kind of melt into the vinaigrette. So that's another option if you'd like to do that. And you can also add your pecans at the same time too. So I've toasted up some pecans here. I have them in a saute pan. What I did earlier was I just heated up this saute pan till it was hot. I like to use a cast iron uh, skillet for that. Add my nuts, and then I let them sit for a minute, give them a shake, and I'll, I'll just kind of smell to see when I can start smelling the roasted nuts. I will turn the, the heat off and pull it off and pour these onto a plate, transfer them onto a plate to cool because very quickly, roasting nuts can go to burn nuts. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> so... Um, I'm always very careful, very vigilant. Don't walk away from it, but it doesn't take long. It's just a, a couple minutes, a few minutes. I'm going to add a few of my toasted nuts to the top here. And for the recipe, you'll probably use about a quarter cup, maybe a third of a cup of these pecans. But now I have a beautiful salad to present. It's delicious, it's healthy for you. If you'd like, you could add your favorite protein to it. I love doing a roasted salmon, but chicken is good for this as well. If you're vegetarian, uh, tofu is always a good uh, substitute for this as well. So here you have wonderful salad, very easy to make, good enough, beautiful enough to present to guests and healthy enough to, to keep us staying young and feeling better and aging better, correct? Hopefully so. Well, hopefully this second time was a charm. I'm sorry that it got a little bit uh, abbreviated, but um, it is a wonderful dish and I will post with the recipe so that you can download that recipe. Or if you would like to see other videos, other cooking classes, Cooking with Evie, you can go to my YouTube program, my YouTube channel, which is just Evie Schweig and uh, see all of my past uh, classes there. Uh, some of them with bloopers and <laughs> others that went more smoothly. This one goes down with the bloopers. But anyway, hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with another healthy anti-inflammatory recipe. Until then, have a good week. Bye-bye for now.